The chase begins here at Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Speed Stick 400. George Rourke in the number 10 starts on the pole as 18 chasers look to get the chase going on the right foot. As a win of a chaser wins one of the chase races, that chaser moves on to the next round, regardless of where he or she finishes in the next couple uh, one or two races, depending on when the win took place. Jeffrey Finn guy is not a chaser, neither is George Warp, but the Stored Haas team doing a good, st making a good start. One two so far. Devin Winston, the number five, goes for the race lead as he as he's try as he bumps out the four. Now he has eye set on the ten. And now we have a three-wide battle with Angel Navarro, Robbie Tavener, Chloe Baker. Baker into Navarro, and they spin. Tavener is involved. Another crash near the store finish line, and the 44 is in it. A lot of drivers are in it. And I see a couple chasers as well that were caught up in the rack. Hunter is involved. Ryan Acosta, there's Mason Wood, and you see 70 Mitchell Riggs. Cooper Sauron's in it. A lot of drivers were tired on that big crash in lap three. And look at this. We got a big pile up under caution. Jeffrey Finn guy holds up the field and everybody gets piled up. And to make matters worse, George Works slides up into the track and hits the wall. I think he was trying to get into pit road, but he went a little too fast and he locked up his tires and he slid up. Already on lap seven on the restart, only 20 drivers survived. That's less than half the field already wrecked out because of those incidents and most of them and both two of them happened under yet under the caution period and it's incredible to see so many drivers retire this early in the race cooper siron though survives to take the race well cooper siron i think is a lap down because i don't see him in the scoreboard but alex rago's on the lead lap and he takes the race lead Ragow is the new leader right now. Another St. Connor Breen's the leader. Oh my goodness, why are they starting lap cars in front of the pack? That just doesn't make any sense at all, really. But it's sometimes the logic works that way. And I do know Ethan McDowell, the lap car. Now we see Devin Whitston in the number five. We know he's on, he's on the lead lap. He's going for the race lead. And he is the leader right now as the lap traffic have really made this chaotic for the lead lap cars. And here in the restart, Whitston takes it. And now the two front row motorsports teammates, Sam 35 Sam Rogers and 34 Jordan Davis working together hopes to put them out in the front. Rogers is a chaser this season and Jordan isn't, but Sam Rogers looks to win to move on to the next round as he goes on the bottom of the five for the race lead and he's got it. But Jordan Davis, though, I've got a feeling, though, he's not here to help Rogers at all help his cause. And now he goes for the race lead. Jordan Davis goes on the bottom. Rag on the 27, and now uh, Davis is now held up in the middle. Ooh, they're getting too close. They're getting way, 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 way close. O'Neill Balvin goes on the bottom. Balvin sneaks by to take the race lead. Oh, they're so close. I could have sworn Balvin nearly made contact with Breton there. Turn three. Ooh, they're getting closer. It's pretty tight right now. Even with a, several cars remaining, they're still tight. Which to trying to sneak his way to the front as he tries to bump the 20 of Belvin. Oh, four wide, and Connor Breen gets around. Alex Rago gets crashed as well. They were too tight, and it was only a matter of time until these guys started to snap, and Breen is out of the race already. Racing to the caution, Johnny Gardner out of nowhere is going to take the lead under the yellow flag. Another chaser looks to defend his championship from last season. Now a three-wide battle for the lead, although McDowell is a lap down. But Devin Whitson is able to take advantage and take the race lead away. Sam Rogers is right behind him, though. Rogers could be an impact. We'll see what he can do. And um, there's Whitson pulling away a little bit. Rogers, now I just know he's not on the lead lap. But man, again, why did they start these cars out in f like these lap cars in front? It's kind of confusing. They're racing like they're going for the lead, and, and they're only a lap down, and it makes things really tough to follow. But we know Winston is the leader. We know Jordan Davis is now in second place. He goes for the race lead. 
I think Rodgers was trying to help Davis out to get that win, even though he's out of contention for the race win. And he does. Davis the leader. Johnny Gardner is in second place right now. If Gardner wins, he moves on to the next round. He doesn't have to worry about the next two races, but he's got to really get have his best driving yet because pack of hungry cars are in the back. Nathan Hudson is in second right now. Hudson has worked his way up to the field. Only four laps to go at Homestead. Hudson now it's 1-2. Num cars numbered 1 and 2 in 1-2 right now. Hudson for the lead. Brandon Nichols again for the race lead. He made a comeback too. Oh, bumper to bumper. Nearly turned Nathan Hudson. Pretty close call as Brandon Nichols decided to get a little aggressive. He has nothing to lose, so he decided why not. And he is the leader now with three to go. Three wide. Oh, Nathan Hudson gets pushed up high by Devin Winston. Man, these guys are racing very aggressively. Not taking it easy on the chasers at all. As you see Sam Rogers trying to get in front. Jordan Davis trying to push him to the front as, as Davis goes on the bottom. And Davis comes to two laps to go with the race lead. Nice job by Jordan Davis using his teammate to take advantage. Three Oh, four wide behind them right now. Oh, this is going to get tied, and Johnny Garner is wrecked out. Balvin's in it, and most of the field is in it. <coughs> and that'll be the race. White flag will come out, and the caution will come out. Jordan Davis goes through smoke, and he's going to take the white flag with one to go at Homestead, Miami. What a race to the finish. Here's the wreck. Johnny Garner spun out. O'Neill Balvin involved. Brandon Nichols is in it. And they spin out. Man, I just screamed so loud. I had to cough there. But anyway, coming off the final turn, Jordan Davis wins the Speed Stick 400 and Homestead Miami Speedway in a wild and crazy finish. Jordan Davis is now the all-time wins leader among non-TA2 drivers. He had a tie with Jacob Lawler for that position. Now Jordan Davis is now solely third place all-time on the wins list, but most importantly, he's the all-time non-TA2 driver wins leader in the Pullman Cup Series. A huge honor it is for Mr. Yamp. And as you see here, only eight drivers survived on the lead lap. In this incredible race, a wreck fest here at Homestead. We'll see you guys at our second chase race, which will be held in Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Who will, which chaser will roll the dice and hope for it, and hope for a chase spot to win for? So let's see. Uh, we'll see you in Las Vegas.